Hey guys, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing with this really cool, really fun mandala set by Concord 9th with some heat resistant acetate. So it's acetate that you can um, heat emboss on. So I've got the many mandala stamp set there and then the heat resistant acetate by Hot Off The Press. And I've cut my acetate to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've got a turquoise card base with um, the biggest die from the many mandalas die set that goes with the stamp set. So I'm starting off by cutting out the front of the cardstock, or the card base. And I've got some frog tape. And this is a low tack, easy to tear tape that I like to use on cardstock because um, it doesn't tear the surface if you take it off gently. So there's what the die cut looks like after it's cut out. And you've got these little lacy looking pieces on the outside that I think are just really pretty. So I've just used my um, curved tweezers by Elizabeth Crafts to poke out any little remaining bits. And then use a bone folder to reinforce that fold at the top so it's nice and crisp. So I've got my acetate there and I'm using my card base um, to place my acetate where I want it so that it will show up properly um, when we go to finally put the card together. And I've got the largest of the mandala stamps in the middle and it fits in there just right. So then I take off my card base and we're going to stamp on the acetate. And I'm using a powder tool to cut down on the static electricity because obviously with the plastic it's going to stick pretty badly. Um, so the acetate or the powder tool helps to eliminate that static so that the embossing powder we use is only going to stick where we've put the Versamark. So you can silver pearl, silver pearl. <laughs> embossing powder by Ranger to do the first one. So you can see it sticks a little bit but I tap it off with my fingernail and it comes off pretty cleanly. I just have a few spots um, with a paintbrush to remove. And really where I'm holding it with my fingertips that's not going to show anyway. So don't worry about anything that sticks there. It's not really that important. What's more important is the outline of the stamp and then anything in the middle. I am painting this from the back just to prevent any powder from flying off. And this will um, melt a lot faster than it will on cardstock. And then with the stamp set, you get this little printed piece that you can use to there's a better way to say it. You can use this to line up your stamps so that they look proper. So everything's properly aligned and nothing's over stamped or wonky or anything. So I'm placing that down on my little stamp, my overlay, and then I'm going to use the second smallest, um, or second largest actually, uh, stamp from the stamp set to do the inner part. And pick up my stamp and then use Versa Mark again. And the second embossing powder we're going to use is Mermaid Tails by Wow. And this one has a really pretty um, teal, green, and silver shift glitter in it. So just take a small paintbrush and remove any little stray bits on the inside. And then heat emboss that. So it doesn't take very long at all. So now I've positioned um, my acetate underneath my card base to do the inside of the card. So 
I'm going to use Deep Sea and this Happy Birthday stamp. And this stamp is from the same Many Mandala um, stamp set. And it's got multiple sayings in there, so there's lots of different um, options. I'm going to replace that real quick to line up the um, final stamp, which is the um, third largest, I guess you'd call it. I'm going to stamp that on the inside as well. I'm going to use some Island Blue by Simon Says Stamp Ink. And this is a nice bright blue. It's going to show up really nicely um, against that turquoise. And have a decent contrast against the deep sea, that really deep navy color. And so to finish up the outside of the card, I'm going to use the same mandala stamps and the same colors of ink. So first I'm going in with the deep sea for that smaller um, bottom right corner. And then the top right corner, I'm sorry, the bottom right corner is um, Island Blue. The top right corner is going to be Deep Sea. And then this final stamp that I'm using right there is the smallest of the mandala stamps. And I'm using a microfiber cloth to kind of clean my stamps in between if I need to change colors. So I'm using Deep Sea on that smallest one. And then I'm going to use Island Blue on the second largest, third largest, third largest. And that's all I'm going to do for the front of the card. So now I'm going to attach my acetate to um, the front in the back. And I've got some eighth inch score tape on the side and then some quarter inch score tape on the top and bottom. And then to finish off the front, I'm going to use some sequin mixes from Little Things by Lucy Abrams, or Lucy's Cards. And we're going to use Nautical Sparkle and Peacock. And I, as you can see, I kept with that blue, silver, white kind of color scheme. And I'm going to use some Ranger Matte Medium to attach those. And I like using this because it's matte, which means it's the opposite of shiny. So if you get some that squeezes out from behind your sequins or behind your stars or whatever you're adding, it's not going to show up. It won't reflect light. Um, so you don't have to worry about it being an obvious boo-boo on the front of your card. So that's why I like this. Um, it's not super sticky. So... You don't have to worry about things sticking where you don't want them. You do need to press your things down and then as soon as it dries, it's permanent. It's not going to fall off. So that's why I prefer using matte medium over something like glossy accents. So that finished up the card for today. So um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions and we will see you next time. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for um, giving me comments and likes and all that stuff. It does me a lot of good. It does my channel a lot of good. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.